And Tahira moves in. That's it. They're all in. They're off. The Group 1 Coronation Stakes first run in 1840. The Old Mile stretches before them. An early pace, such as it is, comes from Meditate in the hands of Ryan Moore in the blue and orange with Sounds of Heaven, the yellow cap, now moving up to apply a little bit of pressure. Queen for you in a pale jacket drops in at the running rail. That Mama's girl in the violet silks is now adopting a more prominent position. He's beginning to sweep round the field to get within three parts of a length of the lead. Nose bandit Remar Key tracks them at the end of two and a half furlongs. And Tahira dropped out last of the half dozen as they make the steady ascent towards the five marker. Yeah, and it's Meditate and Ryan Moore leading up, but only narrowly to Sands of Heaven. And then Mama's Girl out wide to Queen for You, Remar Key, and to hear it in the emerald green, looking on as they approach halfway. So about to make the swing for home in the Coronation Stakes, and Ryan Moore setting the fractions here on Meditate, leads by three parts of a length to Sands of Heaven. Mama's Girl in a violet jacket has got a wide trip as they reach the crown of the turn, followed into the straight by the nose bandit to hear up breezing along out on the right. Then Remar Key, Queen for You, pink jacket, looking for a way through up the running rail. Down inside the last two furlongs they come, Meditate up the rail. Here goes Tahira, though, beginning to power down the outside and to hear a beginning a very strong looking run has come sweeping through to take over inside the furlong to hear a 40s on from sands of heaven meditate battling away the remarque keeping on in behind to hear a merely being nudged out this classy filly wins the coronation stakes for dermot weld remarque disputing second with sands of heaven and back in fourth meditate well, the odds-on favourite has done it, Tahira, and she gives Dermot Weld his first Royal Ascot winner since 2015. He'll be thrilled with that and a little relief, Jim. Yes, yeah, so it's some 50 years since his first. What a trainer. Um, his huge, long-standing uh, team, and uh, his sons play a huge part in the operation as well. But yes, as you say, Alex, he's had a relatively quiet season. There's no getting away from that, but... Uh, this, this is a brilliant filly, and as the old cliche goes, he knows how to train. Look, our socks are still on. They weren't knocked off at all. But let's put this in the context of not one but two hard races on the spring on the back of what you said about her appearance at Newmarket. It's been an intensive first part of the campaign for her, but she's passed two tests very, very comfortably indeed. And I think it is still just a platform for her. And, Seb, these... Con these circumstances weren't conducive to a horse winning by a wide margin. No, I mean, you know, the, the thing is, I don't think they want to be in front too long. But with the pace of the race, and you can't take a horse out of stride, especially when they've gone as, as steady as they did, you've got to keep rolling. And, you know, although they were obviously trying not to be in front too long, he had no choice but to go when he did. I think she has just, you know, had a look when she's there. Because, you know, Remarque finishes off pretty strong but was that was that just to hear her just going through the motions i i thought chris hayes was trying to hold on to his but he didn't really he never really grabbed hold of her and said stretch no i think they may be mindful of, of the going and she she done everything she had to do yes. as jamie said the tactics weren't conducive for something to win a million miles but the the speed she showed to go and put a seal on it never mind the last 50 yards or so was impressive